So now we need to know how do we pick out our SIMA code. Well, that's kind of what us distributors are here for. We're more than happy to help you guys pick out a SIMA code for your needs. But if you're like a DIY guy and you want to do it yourself, well, you can do that online. Alright, so we're going to go here to Google and we're just going to type in TIA selection tool. And that's going to bring us up here to the Siemens website and we're going to do this start TIA selection tool cloud. Alright, so this tool is pretty handy. Uh, you can select all sorts of different Siemens automation products, PLCs, HMIs, drives, things like that. Uh, it's Some of it's really polished and looks pretty and some of it, well, it doesn't. Unfortunately, a Simicode selector is a bit clunky, but if you're a DIY guy, like I said, this is a tool you got to use. Uh, so let's see. So now let's select new device. And these are all the different categories we have. So our Simicode is actually here under industrial controls. And you'll see it down here under Simicode. You got two different ones you can select from. We're going to be looking at the Pro V. That's what our videos have been based off of. So this is going to have some descriptions about it down here at the bottom. Uh, a couple other things that you can select on. But we're going to go ahead and click configure. You're going to get this screen now that's got all these different slots in it. So let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing uh, is going to be this IM slash UM. Uh, that's our current voltage monitoring. So let's click on add module. You can either click add module here or you can just click in this gray area and it'll let you select what you need. Uh, so now here's the clunky part. <clears throat> I can select current, current voltage, or current voltage with the dry run protection. Let's say we want current voltage. Normally, it'd give us our descriptions. So we see a little picture here, and we see a description current voltage measure module, but you'll see they're all the exact same. So how do we know what current range we're picking? Well, you got to go all the way over here to this I, click the I, gives you a part number and your current range. It'd be a lot easier, Siemens, if you just did this on the description so that everybody could see it. So go ahead and click on your module. It's going to ask, do you have an initialization module? We don't. Do I need a connecting cable? Again, how long is this cable? I don't know. Let's just pick this one for default. Go ahead and hit insert. And there we have it. So now you'll see I have a 3 to 40 amp current and voltage monitoring device. Now for the GG category, we're we'll going to go ahead and click on that. Again, I just clicked in the gray area instead of on the add module. And yet again, here we go. Here's our descriptions. They're all the exact same thing. Now you will notice some things are grayed out. As we talked about in a previous video, your base unit can only be selected either for general purpose or high performance. <clears throat> Your base unit can be selected for your general performance or your high performance. So with the general performance, you can only do a current module. You can't do current and voltage. And since I selected current and voltage, it's grayed several of my different devices out. Uh, so let's click on this one and see what it is. Uh, that is our Simica Pro Profinet Ethernet. Sure, that sounds good. Let's go ahead and select module. Again, do we need a memory module? No. Uh, here's our different cables. Uh, I don't know what the difference between the two is. Oh, that's all. Uh, so here's our USB cable with a part number. They actually do a good job of telling you what that is right here. So sure, let's get that. Hit insert. There. Now, the last thing that you're probably going to want to do is we're going to add in our HMI. So that's way over here on BB. Uh, HMI, operator panel, you take your pick. I like to call it HMI because I always go for the one with the screen on it, the Cadillac. Click Add Module. I have two different options. These are pretty self-explanatory. Buttons or Display. So go ahead and click on that. Select. Yes, I need my cable. I don't know how long these are, but let's just pick one. Insert Modules. And there we have it. So. I can also go in here in these M slots, and again, depending on whether you have general performance or high performance, depends on how many modules you can add in. I can select these. I can go in here and select different modules to add in, like a temperature module. 
there's only one of those, so that's easy. I can go in here and let's look at a digital module. What are these? I don't know. Uh, I can click on the I and it'll tell me four input, two relay outputs, 24 volt DC. So for this purpose, I'm just going to insert that. And there we have it. So that is a semicode that I've built. So now you'll notice over here on the left hand side on this order list, shopping cart, the number keeps growing. So if I click on that, now I have a handy dandy bill of material. I can take this bill of material and go to my distributor of choice and say, hey, this is what I need. Can you please check it for me and make sure it all looks good. You can also export this into a couple different versions like comma separated value or PDF. But that's the easiest way to pick out a SIM code. Thanks.